Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today's topic again, there is an interesting scenario on Power Query. So let's see the first uh, problem statement here. Okay. So I have a uh, basic table where I have the customer name, and the customer names are repeating. So triple A is three times, B is three times, C is three times. Okay. So what are my requirement is I want to produce a unique ID for the each customer. So what does it mean? So for the A, I want to present as 100. For the B, all the Bs I want to present 101. And all the C, it will be 102. 100 is A, 101, 102. Okay. But as you know that I have a uh, column called index column. If I go there and I pick start from the 0 or start from the 1, whatever may be. If I do it, it will, for the each and every row, it will give you a ID, but that is not my requirement. My requirement is for the A, complete A, I want to give one value. For the complete B, I want to give a value. So in this case, what will be my solution would be, I will go through the group by option here. Okay, how we will do it? First of all, let's group by this call. So transform, group by, okay, customer needs to be grouped by, and I will display all rows now. Okay, so let's give a name called all row. So other columns will not aggregate, it will just display as a table. If we click on this, it will give output as a table, it will give you triple A. And this is triple B, this is triple C. Now try to give add column and index column. In this case, I don't want to start from 0 and I want to don't start from 1, I want to start from 100. That is my requirement. So I can click on the custom. Yeah, so our column came. So start index will be 100 and increment by 1. So it will be 100, 100, 100. Let's see. So now 101, 100, 101. So everything. Now try to expand this column here. I will not prefix anything. This is my customer name. Now we are good. A, 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 100, 100, everything. Now I can delete. Either of this column, just delete this column, remove it, okay, and this will remain as a customer. Right, so my requirement is clear now. So now I have a for each customer, this is 100, B is 101, and C is 102. This is the way you can use the index with group by, okay, this is the first one. Let's go to the second solution, second problem statement here. Let's go to the customer sales table here. So here, the problem is a bit different. So here, the same thing we need to achieve for the, uh, wherever the customer A is coming that I need to 100, B is 101 and C is 102. Okay. But I want the order needs to be proper, whatever the buy is there in the source. It means the first two call, first two row, it will give me 100, 100. When it comes a B, it will give me 101. Again, A is coming, it will give me 100 again. B is 101, like that. The order will be proper. I can't put it first A, first B, first C. No, this is my source order. I want to maintain this sort order in the output as well. Okay? So, that is the problem statement here. I, I hope you got this point. So, first of all, I need to maintain the sort order, right? So, what I'll do in this case is that, let me create an index first, start from 0. Okay? So, this is my original sort order. It will be start from 0 and this is the 8. This is my order. I will keep it like this so that I can refer back whenever I require it. Okay. Now, the same approach. I will click on the customer name. Then I will go to transform, group by. Then I will say all rows. I will say all. Okay. Now, the same thing. It will be 0, 1, 3, whatever may be. Now, I can create an index column. Click on the custom, okay. Same hundred, and it will be increment by one. So we are getting this now from this expand. But I move this one. I don't require the customer name at least. Let's, let's expand everything, okay. Mm, yes, I think let's let's do that. Okay, now now we are maintaining the 
the order uh, so not the order sorry yes this is the order the so the order would be so when let me let me do the, go to the next step so when i am expanding this table that i have already an index column which is coming from the the source table okay this is the index column where the sort order is available okay so just okay it now on the index column I will put a sort ascending order okay so that I will get my order see triple a a b a b c c c b this is the order I get it now now I can delete either of the any of the column so this is my customer name okay so this is the one this I can delete this is not required much you now so now I have the proper order where I am getting the data see triple double a hundred hundred when it's come to B it is hundred one again a comes it is hundred again B C C and hundred one again B so this is the order which you want and this is the original order which is from the source okay so this is the way we can do uh, your you can supply the different kind of IDs using the group by functionality okay hope you like this video please do subscribe this channel for more interesting content like this and put in your comments I need your comments like any specific scenario or any specific topics you want to discuss or you have any business case or you are facing some issue you want some help please 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 put on the comments so that I will check it and I'll try to put a solution for that with the video okay thanks for watching and have a nice day